Okay, now we get a lot of questions here at Blue Rock Station about our cistern. So here's the back of the cistern. It's built out of tires. We have an access hatch here that opens up and we can get in there to clean it. We also have this solar aerator, which I'll discuss here in just a second. Now the water flows in down there, down in this particular intake area. And then if it overflows, we're going to have the excess water going over here, and it simply drains out at the bottom of the earth berm, um, back behind the earth berm of the airship. So let's take a closer look. Okay, now, as I had mentioned earlier, um, the Earth ship was originally designed with two cisterns. Uh, we found we only needed one cistern, so we're really only capturing water off half the roof. Now, the roof is a V-shaped design, cricketing in the center, and then it drains down to this one drain that fills uh, the cistern that we're actually utilizing. Now, one of the issues we ran into with this is we needed to screen it in such a way that the um, that the cistern would not collect any leaves or any of the oak um, pollen that may float onto the roof. So that's one of the reasons there. And periodically that screen has to be cleaned off. Then the excess water, if it's coming down very torrentially, will drain off the front of the airship uh, using a little scupper that we built in the front. Okay, so let's take a look inside the cistern. We're going to jiggle around here a bit as I bend down in there. You'll see that the inside of the cistern is coated with concrete, painted with a blue swimming pool paint. You see a few spider webs in there. The intake was on the far wall over there. Uh, and here we're showing the aerator, which is a solar aerator, which bubbles the water that... Uh, is in the cistern. The cistern will actually hold about 5,000 gallons and you can see the overflow pipe there which is uh, tilted downward to flow out uh, so that if anything is floating on top it doesn't get caught. That then heads out when the tank gets full. So pretty much that's it. You can find more information on living sustainably in our unsustainable world at bluerockstation.com.